Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. Now I know some of you are probably worried that I wasn't gonna come back because I'd lost my mind, stripped naked and ran off to an island to live by myself for the end of my days. But uh, a few flaws with that plan, I don't want to go out into the ocean to live on an island. And number two, I'm a bit stronger than that. Generally speaking, I kind of have an idea of what- a oh, I'm in the shallows, aren't I? Oh! Well, hello everybody, I don't think I was supposed to be here. Ah, shitty tits. Hang on, let me navigate some bullshit here. So, yeah, I know things may have gotten heated a little bit in the last episode, but that's okay. I'm alright, and everyone else here is happy. Given that there's no one up. What the fuck did I just. God, fucking god damn it! Alright, did I just. Did I. Did I just beach my goddamn big box berry? Son of an ass! Oh, come on! Ah, fuck! Okay, hello, hi. Why are we flying now? Well, apparently, Big Box Barry is now flying. Here we go! <laughs> okay. Well. That was a thing that happened. Oh, this game is welcoming me back with open arms. Definitely happy to be here. Thank you, little sea creatures that I'm going to eat and cook and in that order. But I am back in the game. I feel better, and in this episode, I know things are gonna go better because I'm not going to be hunting for anything now. So I've got lockers to make, but I don't have the necessary resources on my person to make them. I'll make them when I get back down and deliver big Box Barry where he's supposed to be. Excuse me, Big Box Barry coming through. Nobody mind me. I'm just making a delivery. Honk. Honkity honk honk. Excuse me. Oh boy, I better not attract more mates. I don't think Big Box Barry can a afford more alimony. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way back down into the depths because if there isn't enough silver that I can get here, I know there's going to be large deposits of it over there. So it's just a matter of getting to it if I need it, and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna need it, but I'm not 100% sure if I need it right now. And that's the defining feature here. But I'm gonna get back to my base, where I've got warpers crawling all over me, but at least I have some semblance of control over my life. And then I'm going to build a modification station. Oh, hi, honey. Hey! How's little old Jeremy? Is he good? That's not his name? Oh, okay, his name is Blizzard! I didn't know that. I wasn't around. I'm speaking for Big Box Barry here, but somehow I feel like a parental figure. So oddly enough, I've got another problem that's actually kind of significant here. I don't have much power left. And apparently, the charging methods by which to charge my Big Box Barry are no more. So I'll have to build a power cell charger and see where that gets me. But in order to do that, I need materials. So, back down we go. So, all that bullshittery aside, I'm headed back down into my base where I'm going to feel safe and home, and then I'm gonna build the lockers and put some new names on the wall, and then I'm going to build the modification station that I have so desperately fought for. You don't know the troubles that I've gone through. Actually, you do! You do know the troubles! You know exactly the troubles that I've gone through, and you know the lengths that I would go to just in order to get a modification station. So you know there's not gonna be anything that's gonna stop me from getting to the bottom of Subnautica, because they put a castle down there, and I may not get into it in this episode. I may not get to it in the next episode, but you better damn be sure that I'm gonna get to it soon. Nothing's gonna stand in my way, and I'm getting back down to Bubble Butt right about now. Oh, how I missed you, little buddy. Oh, I'm so sorry for the abuse that you have endured. I really feel bad. I didn't mean for it to go so poorly for you, but god damn, is it dark in here. Let me just turn on my floodlights, because holy shit. Ah, oh, it's much better. Everything's illuminated now, especially the frickin' douchebag is floating around there, trying to warp me into place I don't want to be warped! I know you're in the darkness. I know you're down there! Also, it seems like they made a graphical update because everything seems to be much clearer. Coffee! Fuck. You look like you could use some coffee. I know I could! Just give it in my mouth! So, let's recap. I need to make a modification station. Thank you for the coffee. 
I need to make a modification station, and in order to do that, I need a lot of stuff. I need a wiring kit and a computer chip. Not actually all that much! So, if I look at my inventory, I have nothing of that. But, if I look in here, I have titium. I have copper. Go. Ah, it's silver! Hey, hey! Things are looking up for me. I've got silver, and you know what that means? I get to build lockers, which have nothing to do with the silver that I have, but I'll be right back. Okay, so we got Lapis Angsty Lazuli, which I think is a Steven Universe reference, who said, four hours and you still didn't cheat. We are so proud of you, or at least I am. And I want to say thank you very much. I'm proud of myself, but not proud of myself for not flailing like an idiot and just giving up at the start of it. But I did it. That's the persistence that is the Markiplier way. Next up is Swagbird, who said Mark didn't have an amazing reaction to all the futuristic stuff in the game. Instead, he's crazy about the fact that you can make coffee. Which is really cool, considering I need a lot of coffee. And then there's lots of peeps, which just stands for a lot of you guys, who said that apparently there's a bug in the Rex. And the problem that I was seeing before, with absolutely nothing being there that I could scan, is actually a bug in the game. And in order to see those things, I would have had to re start the game, and then explore the space again. Well, fuck me! It was new update! I didn't know about it! There was no way for me to find that out! So I got fucked! And that's really cool, I guess. But, say la vie, that is life, and life is that. So now I'm going to make what I need to make, and that is a computer chip and a wiring kit. I need table core sample, which I don't know if it's down here. I think I've asked that very same question before. But I'm pretty sure that I might be able to find it down here, so I'll be- Maybe I already have it. I should check that before I just go wandering off into the ocean. The answer is yes! I do have that, so that's good. I have that on store, which means that I don't need to go any frickin' where to get whatever I need. And that means that right here, right now, I get to make me a modification station. Holy fucking shit! Oh, and with that, the four hour journey has come to its end. And now that I have the modification station, I can make all of these various types of upgrades, including the pressure compensator MK2 for the Seamoth and the Prawn, which I'm more specifically going to be using for the Prawn, and the Ultra Cyclops Reinforcement Module. And if I go back to my Cyclops right now, I've got a whole mess of plasteel ingots and titanium ingots, and then I'm pretty sure I got aluminum oxide crystal somewhere here. Maybe. Ha ah, I gotcha. <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna get you, but then I gotcha. So I got that. So that's good. Uh, yeah, if you're wondering, yes, I'm, I may have lost a little piece of my mind in the last episode, but that doesn't mean that I'm not dedicated to going forward and going deeper into the ocean and having a great time among all my dead friends. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so. Now that I have that. I can make these upgrades, but I gotta go into my, uh, I gotta go into my big box berry for one second. Whoa, that was weird. I think they did do a graphical update because something seems very dear. Can I please go into my, th there we go. Oof, okay. But something seems just a little bit different, but I don't have time to worry about that right now. I need to get all of the plasteel ingots that I already have, which is none. I thought I had some. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take all the lithium that I got, which is a lot, and then I'm gonna take all the titanium ingots that I got, which is a lot. I'm gonna put the dead batteries that I got in here. Someone said, I can't remember who, I saw this in passing, but somebody said that I can build a battery and or a power cell charger in my big box berry and then use that to charge its own power cells and that'll create an endless loop of power. Now, I don't know how nice that seems. That almost sounds like cheating to me, so I'm hesitant to do that. 
However, I am desperate, so we'll see how things turn out. I just don't want anything to do with cheating. I want to be very dedicated, and cheating includes exploiting glitches. That is cheating. Oh, I forgot something. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot to actually pull the thing from the thing, so I'll hang on. Okay, so I need this. Crush depths is 500 meters. Well, that's okay, because I'm about to fix that. Because I need to bake a lot of plasteel ingots, and then I need to take those over to the, uh... The modification station and make a whole lot of shit. To you! The warper's going nuts outside, but I don't care. I'm safe in here with my plasteel. Who needs friends when you got plasteel? Who needs friends when you got a modification station? Who needs friends when you got a talking tree named Larry that can keep you keep your company in the coldest of nights? Anyway, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, three. I need one more. I need one more. I mean, I'm eventually gonna need more because I need to make the uh, the pressure compensators for my prod suit as well. But before I do that, I need to make this the Ultra Cyclops Reinforcement Module. And with this, I will be able to make whatever I or go down as far as I need to go with the Cyclops anyway. I do need to make it for the prawn suit before I'm able to go anywhere because the Cyclops can only go as far as the vehicle docked within it. So that means if the prawn suit can only go to 900 meters, the Cyclops can't go any deeper than that. But for right now, I'm going to count my victories as they lay and stick this right in this socket here. Habuski. Oh, 1500 meters. Holy balls. That's a lot of meters. So, with that being said, let me just check to see if there's an aluminum oxide crystal in here because I need that. Nope, nothing in there. Do, 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 do. Hey, 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 don't look at me. Okay, so I got that. My Cyclops is now crushed down to 1500 meters. But the only problem is I need to be able to make these other upgrades. And to do that, I need a computer chip and two aluminum oxide crystals. Not just one, I need two. Oh no! Oh no, that's fine. I need a computer chip and then I need aluminum oxide crystal. I believe... I'm not as sure. I don't think I have another aluminum oxide crystal. I'm pretty sure I do not have that. Yeah. But I do have... I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yeah, I've got one more silver. Just one. But I've got it. So that means... Oh, shit, the table coral. God damn it! Fuck me! Okay. So what I gotta do is I have to make... I have to make a run to get more table coral and more... Ooh. If I'm gonna go, I might as well go all out because I believe... I'm gonna need two aluminum oxide crystals and then... Two computer chips. I, I best go all out for that. I have the requisite... Oh no, I need more lithium. I will need more lithium. I'll need three more lithium. So I gotta go out and I gotta make a run. That's no good, but it's better than the life that I was living before, which was a goddamn nightmare. So I'm gonna do that. I need to go gather materials, but for right now, I'm sitting pretty. I need to power up these bad boys, but I'm sitting pretty pretty. God, I need more power here. I need to get more, uh, I need to get a lot more uranium before I do this. Hmm. What am I gonna do with these depleted nuclear rods? Can I do anything with them? I think they're just nuclear waste and you can't really do much. Oh, I could also- I could do that. I could do that. I can do that. I can do that! I can get a high capacity tank now! I could do that! Okay, I could do that. I can do that. Okay, so all I need to do is I need to unequip that. I need to put that in there. And then BOOM! I've got more oxygen! Less of a problem for me. My oxygen is now 105, which is awfully nice. And I believe someone said that I could eventually make another one. I also kind of forgot about my sea glide. I forgot that that was a thing that I could use, which would be awfully nice if I ever needed to get out of my fucking Mr. Fister, but that's never gonna happen because I'm going to be struggling to survive. So what I could do... I don't have silicone rubber. That's okay. 
Eh, I'm not worried about it. Let's just go out there and get the materials. We need... We need two more pieces of silver. We need aluminum oxide crystals. And then we need table coral. So let's see what we can do about that. I'm going to save because I feel like death is going to be lurking around every corner. At least I'm down here. Down where it's better and wetter. Hey, it's weird. I can see things a lot better down here. I don't know why, but I can. A uh, copper bunch of bullshit. Gold bunch of bullshit. Copper bunch of bullshit. What are you doing? Are you dabbledged? Why are you dabbledged? Why are you dabbledged? Why is this guy dabbledged? When is when did Mr. Fister take damage? Hello, do do. Uh oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey look! Oh, really? Oh, now, now titanium spawns down here, huh? I wonder if that's a change that the developers made in response to a great need such as my own. And it seems like finally that warper has given me a break. I say as the warper suddenly warps in out of nowhere. Okay, so plenty of aluminum oxide crystals down here, so that's not gonna be a problem for me. I just gotta be on the lookout for bullshit. Is there any bullshit over here? I, I'm in need of an ample supply of bullshit. Titanium. Copper. Did they put- they put- whoa, hey, okay. They put these things by my base because they knew that I needed it. I- I see what you're doing, developers. I see what you're doing. You did this for me and I appreciate it. Even though I may sound angry, I'm very grateful. I'm so happy that that's happening. Uh, that's a big thing of copper, don't need that. Man, a lot of gold. What the fuck good is gold? Gold doesn't do anything for me. Ooh, okay, he's there. Yeesh. Stay away, please, stay away. I'm very dangerous. God damn it, where's the silver? Fuck a duck and fuck me. The fuck was that? What? Whoa. Okay, all right then. Okay, all right. Okay then. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, that's a diamond deposit? Oh! Well, I don't need diamonds. I thought that was gonna be quartz. Puh, worthless diamond. Bullshit, come on. I don't think there's any silver deposits down here. Did I discover that? That sounds like familiar information that I probably knew already. Grind. What is that? Copper? Nah, it's gold. Worthless gold and diamond wherever you look. Just gold and diamond. Diamond, blah. And you woo. Yeah, I. Okay, alright, Okay, docking. Alright, so there's a bit of a problem. Silver ore in the big chunks only exists out in the dunes. And the dunes are directly north of me, and that's good because it's nearby, but it's also a bit tricky because I'm running out of power. So, I need to find silver ore to be able to make a power cell charger. And I need to have Mr. Fister with me to go north to the dunes to be able to harvest all that silver. But also, my Cyclops is running out of power, so Big Box Berry may not make the return trip. So, what I need to do is I need to find a way to make a power cell charger with a little bit of silver, and then go there, get more silver, make the rest of the things that I need, and then get down dark below. But, here's another thing that I've learned is in the dunes. There's a precursor cache in the dunes. And if you don't know what that means, it means there's a cache of technology that the precursors, who are the aliens that have quarantined this planet, have left behind. Somewhere in the dunes. I don't know where, I haven't looked up specifically. This is just information that I've heard. But more importantly, that cache is one of three. Now, I may have already found one of them on the mountain, but that means that there's another precursor cache with precursor technology. I've been told they all need purple keystones to be able to enter, and if I recall, I have an orange artifact, but not a purple artifact. I left my purple artifact back in my old, old base. So what I need to do is I need to figure out a way to, one, get silver to be able to make a power cell charger, which I believe requires such a thing as that. 
Yeah, it needs a computer chip and a wiring chip and glass and titanium. Not too complicated if you have silver. So I need to go on a few errands, but I believe that my big box berry is running out of power as we speak. I think I need to turn the lights off after all. But either way, I'm all out of time for this episode. I will be getting to this very soon, but my next step will take me to the dunes and then back, first back to my old base that I first built and then back to the dunes to dodge the Reaper Leviathans to try to find the Precursor Artifact. And also try to get as much silver as I possibly can, which requires big box berry, which means that I've got a busy day ahead of me. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Gonna turn the lights off so that doesn't happen. Ah, dark solitude, creepy as hell, just the way I like it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.